So, this is what the chief butler of Edgar family is capable of, huh? Hello hello, welcome back to another unit analysis. In this video, we will talk about the new Edgar family chief butler Yoshu, or Butler Yoshu for short. This identity mirrors Nelly. So, some could say that she is Nelly Ryoshu. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Okay, I already see one. Give me. Okay. They're the same picture. Unlike the other maids and butlers, Butler Yoshu does not have any singing on her whatsoever. Rather, she is a poise unit through and through. What makes her special is this unique abilities that she possess. BM. What is BM, you might ask? Well, let's find out. Butler Yoshu is a 3-star season 4 limited ID that has quite low HP pool, being at only 178 at level 45. She is speedy with her speed rolls ranging from 3 to 8. She is fatal to peers and can resist blood hits effectively. She has 3 staggered threshold as 70%, 40%, and 20% respectively. Ryoshu's first skill, Receiving Arts 1, The Hunt, is a 2 coiners last slash skill with a base power of 3 and a coin power of 4, making it a total power of 11. She gets plus 1 clash power for every 2 speed difference with the target for a total of plus 3 clash power, making the total clash power up to 40. On use, she gain 2 poise count, and on her first coin on hit, she gain another plus 2 poise count. And on her on hit second coin, she will inflict BM. What is BM? I will explain it to you later. Ryoshu's second skill, receiving art 7, capture is a... Oh wait, hold up. Why does it go from 1 to 7? Where is the other number like 2? Ah, uh, it hurts their skill. Okay. But still, where is number 3 to 6? Well, sorry for the pause, and let's continue. Receiving art 7, capture, is a 2 coiner sprite slash skill with a base power of 4 and a coin power of 6, making the total power of 16. She gained 1 Clash Power 2 for every 2 speed difference with a maximum of 3, making it a 19 Clash Power. At combat start, if Ryosha has more than 6 count, she consumes 6 Poise count to gain 2 attack weight for her skill. On her first coin, she gained 3 Poise Potency on hit and inflict 1 BM on crit. Meanwhile, on her second coin, she inflicts 2 BM on hit. Ryosha's third skill, receiving Arts 2, Sync, it is a 2 coiner's red slash skill with a base power of 4 and a coin power of 7, making it a total power of 18. Same as the other skills, she gained power for every 2 speed different, but this time it is a coin power instead of clash power. But the maximum coin you can get is only 2. She also get 1 clash power if the target has BM, so she will have a maximum clash power of 23 and a maximum attack or coin power of 22. On use, she will gain 7 poise count immediately. On her first coin, she will gain 5 poise potency, inflict 1 by next turn, and raise the stagger threshold by 30% of damage deal, all on hit. On her second coin, she inflict 2 BM on hit, and if the enemy is staggered, deal 40% more damage on critical hit. She also can reuse her skill on a random target with BM if she managed to kill the unit with her second coin. Her defense skill is a last evade skill, with a base power of 4 and a coin power of 10, making it a total power of 14. She heals 3 SP and 1 poise count for a maximum of 5 times per turn, so that's 15 SP and 5 poise count. Now it's time for her passive. Her passive, clearing household chores, need 3 pride resources for it to be active, not resonance. Ryoshi will get plus 1 poise count and 1 haste for a maximum of 3 times per turn if she hits target with BM, and on crit, she will destroy all BM stack on target and deal 10% more critical damage for up to 60% based on the speed difference between Ryoshi and the target. If there are no crit to be had, at the end of the turn, reduce the BM by 1. So, BM is there to enhance Ryoshi's crit and for her skill 3 reuse condition. Her support passive, Training Command, is a 4 pride resource on, 
It activates when the ally that was deployed last wins a clash. They gain plus 1 points count and haste for up to 3 times. In mirror dungeon and story mode, I think she is a great idea to have. She fuels her own conditional very nicely. Also, same with other units that have AoE on skill 2, mainly Trisang and Regret Faust. They have something going on with their skill 3. Trisang with his stinking deluge, Regret Faust hit her 3 AoE skill 3, and Butler Yoshu with her Ryu skill if the target has BM. Butler Yoshu skill 2 can also do 3 AoE with 2 skill 1 or 1 skill 3 to fuel her conditional. Her skill 3 reuse are also nice since she gets all the poise potency and count again, so she stacks poise very fast. So overall, she is a very solid unit. However, in Railway or exactly in Abnormalities that has no summon, her skill 3 gimmick does not do much here. Well, her skill 2 is nice since you can stack target 3 parts at 1, so 3 times damage. But overall damage wise, I think she is lacking due to all her skills being 2 coins. For a railway that has summons or multiple bosses, her skill tree is very nice. Similar to Honglu Mutilate, but she needs the other enemy to have BM for her skill to activate. Overall, I think she is a very good clasher and a good damage dealer. Unlike some poise users, she has damage buff on critical hit and she has a very fast way to gain both poise potency and count without the help of others. I put her on generally good on my tier list here. If you want to check it out, feel free to do it. And if you have any other question, feel free to ask in the Discord on the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.